Now what is linear inequality? Any mathematical expression that uses any of these four symbols that is less than, greater than, less than, equal to or greater than, equal to is known as a linear inequality. Let's see an example in this respect. Let's say we have 2x plus 5 is greater than equal to 3. So this is a linear inequality. In this we have the sign greater than equal to because of this sign this expression is a linear inequality. Now there are a couple of rules that have to be remembered in this case. If we add both the sides that is LHS and RHS by the same number or subtract by the same number the sign of the inequality does not change. That means adding or subtracting by the same constant does not change the sign of the inequality. Now if we multiply or divide LHS and RHS by the same positive constant then the inequality does not change. So that means multiplying or dividing by the same positive constant does not change or reverse the inequality. Whereas if we multiply or divide the LHS and RHS by the same negative constant then the sign of this inequality is reversed. That means we can say that if you multiply or divide by the same negative constant, the value of the, the sign of the inequality is reversed. Let's see a few examples. Now how do we solve, what, do you, what is meant by solving the linear equation? Solving the linear equation means finding all those range of values of x that satisfy that particular equation. Let's see an example. Let's say we have the equation minus 3x plus 5 is less than or equal to 17. Let's solve this. Now we have to find the range of the values of x. So in this case first we have to remove 5. So what we will do is we will subtract both sides LHS and RHS by 5. So if we subtract both sides by 5 we have minus 3x is less than or equal to 12. Now we will divide both sides by 3 because 3 is a positive constant so the value of the inequality will not change. We will get minus x is less than or equal to 4. Now to find the value of x we will have to multiply both sides by minus 1. So we can see come back here again if we multiply or divide by the same negative constant then the value of the inequality is reversed. That means if you multiply both sides by minus 1, we will have x is greater than or equal to minus 4. That means the sign of the inequality will be reversed in this case. Let's see another example. Let's say we have 4x plus 9 upon 11 is less than 5. To solve this inequality, first we will multiply both sides LHS and RHS by 11. 4x plus 9 is less than 55. Now the next step will be subtracting both sides by 9. 4x will be less than 46. Now we will divide both sides by 4. x is less than 46 by 4. So we can say that x is less than 11.5. So all those range of values that are less than 11.5 will satisfy this particular inequality.